If you're ever working in vanilla Blender and you lose your origin points, position, or rotation, a lot of times you can run into issues where you just can't reset the alignment here of this object and we'd be off at some weird angle. Maybe you modeled it this way or you accidentally had press like Control-A and apply rotation. You can see our local transform doesn't update. It's using global settings, basically. So how do you fix this without using add-ons? Well, that's a little bit tricky, but basically the way this is going to work out is we're going to use a custom transform. So we select the object, go into edit mode, select an edge, for example, whatever edge you want to use, perhaps. Uh, we'll use this front one. And what we can do is we can go ahead and click the plus sign and create a custom transform. All right. Now we're going to go back to object mode. We want to turn on snapping. In our case, we're going to use edge, but you could try using vertex or face or whatever you need. We're going to hit control period. And I'm going to turn the gizmo off just for a second so we can see what's going on. You hit control period. You can adjust your origin point now, right? We can snap it to this edge. All right. Go to object transform and align to transform orientation. Once you've done that, you'll see it actually does in fact line up. You can hit control period, turn that off, turn off your snapping. You can even get rid of your edge transform now at this point. And our rotation, we can backspace it and you'll see it actually zero it out and uh, it will realign now. So this is really good. We can go ahead and um, do that to get it kind of reoriented if we wanted to. And if you want to do set origin to geometry again, you could do that and you should be good to go. So if we were to go into edit mode now and let's say we did a little bit of work over here on the positive X side and let's just do a quick um, inset, hold control. We want to, parents for that or some tries that over now we should build an in edit mode do a mesh transform or excuse me mesh uh, symmetrize and we will do positive x to negative x um, and yeah we should get something like that okay so we're able to start working on this object again it's all reoriented and uh, not all over the place and going kind of crazy basically so that's a uh, little bit of a lengthy process. I would highly recommend just getting the machine tools add-on, which does all this pretty much instantly, uh, very fast anyway. So do check out the machine tools add-on if you don't want to go through this kind of lengthy process here of setting that uh, or fixing that anyways in that manner.